We provide a wide range of different products and services for many different business sectors. Uh, for example, we provide data and information that many of our customers ingest into their own models, for example, the utility customers. We also uh, provide visualisation systems that uh, many customers use in their control rooms. Uh, we provide on-site forecasters, for example, at um, airports and for retail customers. And we also provide a wide range of different consultancy services. Uh, for example, um, we've uh, recently completed a project looking at the impact of changing weather patterns on the River Nile. So the benefits of using the Met Office services are quite simply for businesses to improve efficiency and effectiveness, as well as for them to ensure that their staff are safe. In terms of efficiency and effectiveness, for example, our road customers want to ensure that they use their resources most efficiently when they're considering which roads to grit. And their resources are both their manpower resources and their grit. In terms of safety, uh, many organisations use our warning system. For example, our wind farm customers uh, want to ensure that there won't be any lightning strikes when they have planned maintenance and they will use our systems to ensure the safety of their staff. We provide a wide range of services to government and actually to a wide range of government departments. Everything from providing the scientific evidence to inform policy decisions, but also um, providing the information to and advice to help government uh, prepare for and manage any impacts of adverse weather or natural hazards. So one good example is the work that we do jointly with the Environment Agency through the Flood Forecasting Centre. The Flood Forecasting Centre provides advice and warnings both to government and to uh, civil contingency community to help warn of and enable them to prepare for and mitigate against floods. We provide a similar service um, in Scotland in, pa in partnership with the Scottish Environmental Protection Agency, SEPA, um, to help the Scottish Government manage the impacts of flooding. And as well as too much water, we also have to worry about too little water. So again, we work with the Environment Agency to help government and others be aware of uh, the risks and the actions that they need to take around too little water um, so that the public water supply can be protected. One of the more unusual services that we provide is done in parallel with the Institute of Animal Health. Um, it's not necessarily obvious, but the spread of animal diseases is quite often governed by the weather and the wind in particular. And one service that we, we provide is a service to help warn government as to when disease has reached the UK from the continent and how it will spread. Work that we did with the Institute of Animal Health in 2007 on the spread of blue tongue, which is a disease that affects ruminants, cattle and sheep, um, is estimated to have protected of the order of £500 million per annum of revenue for British farmers and at the same time um, saved of the order of 10,000 jobs in the UK economy. So the impacts of what we do are actually quite significant. In addition to that, um, perhaps one of the things that people think about most frequently with the weather is the disruption it causes to travel. Uh, we're very aware of that and we work very closely with the Highways Agency, particularly over winter when ice and snow can cause problems on the road. And one of the things that we do is we provide a forecaster who is embedded in their control centre at Quinton and his advice helps them to forward plan and to keep the country moving so that you and I can get to where we want to get to.